Good morning from Northeast Thailand outside of Nakhon Phanom in Isan. We've obviously moved on to Thailand. I'm walking on the uh, plot of land that they've already started construction on. Today is a lucky day on the Buddhist calendar. So we're having a ceremony this morning that's going to be performed by Apple's father. Basically just asking the spirits for their permission and their blessing to build on this land and uh, ask for good prosperity and luck. And so we're going to be doing that this morning within the next hour. It is basically winter time here. So it's actually cold. It kind of, it does feel like home uh, temperature wise. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. I'm really interested. I've never seen this ceremony before. It's kind of a special day for us. Uh, the very first pole will be going into the ground uh, as soon as this ceremony is finished. And basically once that's completed, that means that uh, we can continue on or the construction company can continue on. It's going to be a big house. We met with the builder yesterday, a lot bigger than what I had expected, but hey, you know what? I deserve it. Worked hard for this and uh, we are ready to move on to the next segment of our lives. Uh, this, um, I'm here for about another seven or eight days. So this portion of the trip, this is like the last time I'm going to see Apple for quite some time. She's staying behind for about four months to supervise the construction of this house. So it's going to be a little rough, but uh, we just want to do this now, get this done now. And then when I actually do retire, this part is done. And um, I'm basically just going to be stepping into a brand new big house over here and uh, starting my retirement life. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. I'm gonna have the camera along as we go through the ceremony. All right, hope you guys like this. I know I will.
ceremonies finished, uh, it was kind of a big deal. A lot of people showed up. I didn't think it was going to be a, a big group thing, and uh, a lot of people showed up. So those first two poles got uh, put up, and the workers are already here. So they're eating, and some of them are eating, some of them are not, but uh, they're all ready to work. So the ceremony is now complete, and everything can move forward. So we're gonna have some traditional Isan food. This is for those uh, people that are into tropical fish, the clown knife fish, they live in the rivers naturally around here. So this is uh, fish mixed with uh, lime and pepper and green onions. And this is the same fish, just prepared in a different way. It's steamed in a banana leaf and then sticky rice like all the meals here contain. And that's it. So it is now breakfast time and then we will move on with the rest of our day. Hope you enjoyed that. It was a very special ceremony and um, I'm glad that uh, everything's moving forward. So everything was a success and now we just keep going. All right, good morning you guys. I'm upstairs eating breakfast. Lady on the motorbike rolls in. She's bringing me another snake. So that's what happens when I'm out here. Word gets out and they all wanna make me happy. So they're bringing me snakes. I expected just a really common water snake or something. It's actually Boiga cyanea, it's a green cat snake. Now these people out here, they're hands off on all snakes because they don't have the knowledge of all the local stuff. So to them, everything is potentially dangerous. But I'm really surprised. I'm really happy that this is, uh, this is one of the more desirable species out here for me. Let's see. Oh, that's a bigger one. All right, look at that. Bigger than the one we found last night. Hey. So clearly when we are living out here, our house is being built behind me. Uh, this is gonna happen all day long, all night long, I have a feeling. I'm probably gonna have to try to put a stop to it at some point because it's gonna get really crazy with people bringing me snakes. <laughs> but this one I don't mind. So this is my first time driving to the city. I've driven around the village which is no big deal whatsoever. So this will be interesting because Obviously they drive on the opposite side of the road and I'm sitting on the opposite side of the car. This is a manual transmission, so I'm shifting with the opposite arm and foot. <laughs> so this will be interesting, but I do know how to drive and I've seen some really crazy drivers here. So maybe I'll just fit right in, but we're headed to the gym. The things you do for your workouts. So hopefully that gym is open, because if I have to go through all this for nothing, it's going to be kind of sucky. But anyway, this is it. My first driving experience on the highway. My last day in Northeast Thailand. I fly to Bangkok tomorrow morning, and then I'm back home the next day. We decided to get up early this morning and head over to the Thai border market. This is the Mekong River and that's Lao on the other side there. They have some sort of trade agreement. There's about three or four markets here in Thailand. It's like a free trade. Uh, they allow the, uh, the Lao people to bring their goods across the Mekong River, sell it in the morning. It's an early morning market. They do it about twice per week. And then I think by about noon, they're supposed to be back. So I've always wanted to come out here. I've never been out here yet, but it just so happens that our schedules allow for us to do this today. So we're gonna check it out. It should be very, very interesting. I don't know how they get away with um, the agriculture and the, um, the wildlife products and meat and all that to cross these borders without CITES and permits and documentation and everything else, but um, gonna check it out I have no idea what I'm in for but it's supposed to be very very interesting what a beautiful view beautiful morning 
All right, let's go check this out. As soon as the bolts came from the Lao side, these people went nuts. People are fighting over this stuff. Is that for dinner? I'm not sure. <laughs> So I'm leaving this morning. I am headed to the airport. The next time I lay my eyes on this land, it's going to be a house on it. A lot of work getting done. Going to be some big changes. Looking forward to getting home though. Got some stuff I need to do. Got to start hustling, pay for the rest of this house. So I'm eager to do that. Battery is recharged and I am ready to get back to work. My ride is coming, be in Bangkok tonight, and tomorrow morning I will be on the flight back to LA. Had a great trip, it's a lot of fun. Have to say goodbye to my wife, I won't see her for four months, but my ride is here and gotta go. All right, you guys, I will uh, might get back at you guys from Bangkok. If not, I will see you guys at home. Take care.